Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to another video and of course another advent calendar unboxing. Today we are unboxing the ASOS Face and Body 24 Day Advent Calendar and I'm so excited for this one. I'm excited for all of them, let's face it. I'm just, I'm just excited. I love advent calendars. Um, yes, yeah, this is the 24 day one from ASOS and this launched completely out of the blue yesterday. I had no idea when this was going to go on sale. There's been no hints and then it just popped up. So. I bought it, obviously. So this costs £85, which is a little bit more expensive than it was last year. But at the moment, there is a discount code on site, which gets you 20% off everything. Um, I'll pop that in the description down below if it is still there. Um, but they do like random flash 20% off offers um, every now and again. And it, I don't know if it just happens to be the day they launch the calendar. But I made use of that. So that brings it out at £68, which is more in line with what it was last year. Now, it doesn't tell you the value of the product but it says it's a 73% saving so I'll let you work that out and it says inside there's 29 products even though it's 24 days oh no it's 25 days oh, I'm giving you the wrong info already it's a 25 day advent calendar and inside there are 29 products it says we've got 24 days to open and then there's five products on day 25 in a makeup bag so that makes up the 29 products which is super exciting and it does give you a picture on the website and tells you exactly what's inside I had a quick glance didn't look properly um, but I knew I was going to buy it anyway. So yeah, this is what we're going to be unboxing it today. Um, if you do like these kind of videos, please give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe. Also click the bell to be notified next time I post an advent calendar video. And yeah, let's dive into it. So first of all, you'll notice it doesn't actually look like an advent calendar. This looks like a tote bag. Um, and they did this last year and I really like this idea. So it obviously comes in this bag here. So we have this nice reusable tote. Last year we had a black tote and it also had a little scarf on it as well. Um, which was really nice, but this year it's just this tote, um, which obviously reusable, you can use it for your shopping. I use these all the time, so happy to have one of these. And then this is the advent calendar. So it is just a little box like this, and inside there'll be lots of boxes to unbox. So this is the face and body one, which is generally the kind of female version of the box. They do have a male grooming calendar as well, that is only 12 days. Um, that one is only... That one is £40 and it's a 12 day one. It does come with a little tote bag as well. I'll pop a picture on the screen here. Um, and we've got some, some staple products there. There's definitely some products that I've seen in previous grooming boxes. But I mean, the guys aren't as fussy as those, are they? So, so I'm sure they'll be happy with that. Okay, so let's dive into it then. So if we take off this little sleeve here and then it opens up like this. It does feel quite flimsy. So it's not one that you can reuse. I mean, you could reuse it, but it's not the most sturdy one to reuse. If I was going to reuse it, I'd probably just use a different one. Um, but yeah, it opens up like this. And we've got all the boxes here. So it is like double layered, so the other boxes are underneath. So let's start then. So we're starting with number one, which is up here. So this is what the box looks like. A little bit squishy. And inside, oh, we're off to a really good start. So inside we've got a lipstick from MAC and it's the shade Velvet Teddy. One of the most popular shades, which is amazing. Because you always wonder with advent calendars, like, are they just giving you shades that don't sell well? Or random shades that you can just try? But Velvet Teddy is a really, really nice one. I've already got it. But I'll be keeping this one, so I'll show you what it looks like. Yeah, full-size MAC lipstick on day one is amazing. That is the colour of it. It's such a gorgeous everyday colour. I think everyone I know loves this colour. So, yeah, amazing. Great start on day one. I'm very happy with that one. Okay, on to day two in the middle. I love all these prints as well, they're almost like all the little monthly ASOS boxes. It's kind of like a cow print. Ooh, and we've got another fab one. This is amazing. So day number two, we've got the Elemis Pro Collagen Night Cream. Fab. You know how much I love Elemis, so super, super happy to have this one. I absolutely love this. This is part of the anti-wrinkle Pro Collagen range, and it's just amazing. It smells so good, and I absolutely love it. On to day number three, this little leopard print box. And in day number three, I've got a mascara from Bobbi Brown. It's the Smoky Eye Mascara. This is what the packaging looks like. I'm not going to open this right now because obviously when you open a mascara, the time starts ticking to use it. And the time you have to use a mascara isn't actually that long, so don't want to open it yet. But I'll pop a picture of the brush here so you can see what it is like. I do have this, I think, or I've had it in the past, but I can't remember what it was like. So yeah, I will be trying this again. Uh, this is the shade Black, which is obviously a universal shade that will come in handy for most people. Um, so yeah, fab, amazing. Okay, day number four in the middle. Oh, this is so cute. So this is like a jade roller, but it's a miniature one. How cute is that? Oh, I love that. So I have actually got a bigger one of these, um, which is probably the one that most people have. 
Um, but yeah, this is a mini one. This is by Psychic Sisters. We've had a Psychic Sisters Gua Sha before in an ASOS box. So it's nice to get a different product. So this is what you can use on your face for a little bit of a massage. Once you've done your serum and your moisturiser, it's so, so nice and relaxing. Um, some people like to put these in the fridge as well because it's nice and cooling. You don't have to, but it is. it does feel really nice. On to day number five in this pink box. Okay, so we've got the This Works In Transit Camera Close-Up. Be ready for that close-up in seconds with mask, moisturiser and primer in one. Oh, I remember this product. I've not used this in the longest time. Um, so yeah, it's a mask, moisturiser and primer. So this is something that I would put on. I mean, you can use it as a moisturiser and then just carry on with your makeup. But I was putting this on as a primer, so after my moisturiser. Um, it says, apply to clean skin and massage gently until absorbed. Skin will feel slightly dewy and perfectly prepped for makeup. So yeah, it's a really, really nice product actually. And I've not seen this for quite a while, so it's super happy to have another one of those. Okay, day number six is one of the bigger ones here. That's pretty, it's quite heavy, this one. Ooh, this is a really big product. So this is from Dr. Pawpaw, and it's the It Does It All 7-in-1 Hair Treatment Styler. That's so cool. So from Dr. Pawpaw, they've appeared in so many boxes and calendars in the past, but it's always been their multi-purpose balm. I've never seen this product before. So this is a hair product, it offers heat protection, it reduces split ends, it's a detangler, a leave-in hair treatment, reduces frizz and smooths, blow dry styling and adds shine. That sounds amazing. I always use a product like this when I'm doing my hair, so yeah, that's a really good size as well. 100ml, that will last ages, love that. Something different to try as well. On to number 7, a little square one here, again quite heavy. Oh, I know what this one is. This is from Oscar, and this is the Renaissance Mask. This is a really, really nice product as well. I've used this before. It says, apply a good layer onto dry, cleansed skin using firm, circular massage movement. The mask will turn white once properly applied. Leave for 10 to 15 minutes and gently wash off with warm water. So when I actually last used this, mine didn't turn white, um, but I think I actually just put too much on. This is the packaging. It doesn't seem like you actually get a lot in this box. There's 14 mil, um, but I don't think you actually need that much. Okay, on to day number eight then. Oh, these are gonna fall over. This cute little box here. Oh, this is so cute. So this is from Carmex, and it's the Cherry Carmex Moisturizing Lip Balm. Carmex is perfect for winter, um, and it's cherry as well. Lush. Oh, that smells really nice. I expected it to be pink, it's not pink. But, yeah, you can definitely smell the cherry. It's also SPF 15. Fab. Um, yeah, that'll be going in my bag. And I'll definitely be making use of that this winter. Okay, day number nine looks like it's literally going to fall out. So, it's this little leopard print one now. Oh, I love this. Yes. Oh, so we've got from Invisibubble, the Sprunchy Slim. Oh, I love those. They're so nice. If you watch my videos, you'll know I'm a big fan of Invisibubble. I've got so many of them. They're just everywhere. Um, and these scrunchies are fab because it's in Invisibubble, but with a scrunchie around it. This is like a satin silky one, and there's two of them in there, so it's like a gold and a black. So they say it's slim and sleek, superior comfort and timeless design. Oh, this is fab. Like, I'm literally loving every single product so far. Okay, on to day number 10. Ooh, they're all going to fall over. I have to lean that up because it's just going to fall over. Okay, in day number 10, we've got a product from Dermalogic, and it's the Special Cleansing Gel. So we've got 15ml here, this is a really nice product and Dermalogica is a fab skincare brand. It says, soap free, foaming gel cleanses all skin conditions. Gently lather a small amount on moistened hands and apply to dampened face and neck. This is what I use as like a second cleanse, so once I've already taken my makeup off then I would use this. Uh, yeah, really nice product, great size to try as well because Dermalogica is a little bit more on the pricey side. Um, so really good to try smaller products in calendars and see if you actually like them. Okay, day number 11. And we've got, ooh, this is from Sleek Makeup, love this packaging. It's a feeling like a snack, a face form blush. Ooh, so this is a packaging, how nice does that look? Face form blush. Is this just a blusher? So, let's have a look. Yes, it's just a blusher. That's a really nice colour. That reminds me a lot of the NARS one. The Orgasm blush. So it's kind of like a pinky peach, kind of, bit of a shimmer in it as well. Really, really nice colour. I like that. Definitely going to get you some use out of that one. My kind of colour. Uh, day number 12. Oh my god, day number 12. This. Oh, I'm so happy to see this. So we've got the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. 
So it is only a miniature one, but it's amazing. Love this. This is, you know what I mean? If you watch my videos, you'll know how obsessed I am with this brand and this product. Oh, it smells, it's literally like holiday in a jar. It makes your skin so soft, so nourished. Oh, and the smell just lingers on your body. It is amazing. So happy to have this in there. If you've not tried it, it is quite an expensive moisturizer if you're just gonna buy it on its own. Um, this size is worth about six pounds. The next size up is like 20 pounds. Um, so yeah, if you've not tried it before, you can try it in here and you will love it. Okay, day 13 then, another heavy one. Cute little print. And we've got, ooh, this is different. So this is from Bybee and it's the Bacuchiol Booster Facial Oil. This is the box. So this is 100% vegan active ingredients that impact the skin, not the planet. It's to regenerate. A nighttime facial oil containing Bacuchiol, a plant-derived alternative to retinol, Helps to stimulate collagen production for plumper looking skin whilst helping to improve tone and texture for a brighter, smoother and more even looking complexion. That sounds nice. So something that you put on at night before you go to sleep. This will be the very last step in my skincare routine. I use retinol anyway, but I'm definitely up for trying Bacuchiol and seeing how I get on with that as well. Um, yeah, fab. Nice sizes of 15ml uh, with an oil like this. You only need like three drops. Just prepare it into your hand and then massage it in and pat it all over your face. Okay, day number 14, another heavy one. Okay, so we've got a product from Mario Badescu, not my favourite, but uh, this is a facial spray with aloe, adaptogens and coconut water. To be honest, I've not actually tried this one, but I'm just not a massive fan of this brand. This is what the product looks like. Decent size as well. So with the facial spray, it's just good for refreshing. You can probably use it as a bit of a primer as well. Um, just to hydrate your skin as well when you just need a little bit of a refreshment during the day. Things like that are really nice in summer, just to kind of waken your skin up, make you feel a bit more cool. Okay, day number 15 then. Oh, this is actually three layers. Can you see that? Day 15 is really, really light, almost feels empty. And, oh, what is this? Oh my God, this is so cool. Mini nail stickers, oh wow. So this is from the Mini Macaron, and it's Lucky Star Mini Nail Stickers. How cute do they look? So they're like gold little stickers. <gasps> those are so, so cute. I'd never think to put those in an advent calendar. Actually, that's a really good idea. I'm definitely gonna try these out. Next time I do my nails, I'm gonna pop some of these on. So it just says you apply the sticker to your nail and then seal it with a top coat. Step three, ooh la la. Uh, day 16, another really light one. I love this packaging, pink cow print. And we've got a mask. <gasps> oh, it's one of those eye masks. These are so, so nice. This is from Pop Mask. It's the sleepover self-warming steam mask with soothing rose scent. Can help to relieve migraines, tension headaches, dry eyes, and sleep problems. So this is what it looks like. So as you can see here, it's like an eye mask, but it's like an eye mask that you sleep in. You know, like one of those kind of satiny ones that you normally sleep in. Um, it's only a single use one, but it feels amazing. I've used these before. So they basically start the heat up. So as soon as you open this packet, the ingredients, so it's the iron powder, reacts with the oxygen in the air and it heats up. And when you place it over your eyes, it's just so calming, it's so warm, it's just really, really cozy. And whenever I've used these, I fall asleep so fast. Yeah, so this one obviously has a rose scent as well. The ones I've used in the past have been lavender. You can't smell it through the packet. These are so, so good. If you've not tried them, you will really like this. The only thing is obviously it's single use. It's not great because you're gonna just throw it in the bin once you've used it, but it's nice for the night that you use it. <laughs> okay, day 17, quite a big box. Again, quite light. And we have a sheet mask. Okay, this is from Mask Bar, I think. It's the brightening sheet mask with vitamin C and it says it's biodegradable. I've never tried one from this brand before. Um, it says a brightening sheet mask with vitamin C, illuminating, purifying, contains orange extract and licorice root. And it's one mask, it's Korean skincare. Always good. Uh, and you leave it on for 20 to 30 minutes. Um, so yeah, quite a long time for mask. Love that, love having a mask in an advent calendar. It's nice to have a bit of a pamper on the run up to Christmas as well. So if you are saving this for Christmas, which most people will be, um, yeah, it's nice to get one of those on the 17th. On to day number 18. And we have an Olaplex product. This is the number eight Bond Intense Moisture Mask. It moisturizes, soothes, and adds body and shine. I think we got this in last year's one as well. I'm pretty sure I have one of these in my shower still. Yeah, it says apply to clean damp hair, 
from the mid length to the end, use sparingly on the roots, work through with your fingers and leave on for 10 minutes, rinse fully and style as usual and use weekly for best results. Sounds good to me. So there's 20 more there. Uh, with my hair that will probably be two uses, but it just depends how much you actually use and how long your hair is. If you've got super long hair, this might just be one use. Um, so you might not see any results from just one use, but yeah, nice to see it all packed in here. On to number 19, this is very thin. Um, I'm gonna guess a mascara or something, or maybe like a lip product. It's a lip product. Okay, so this is from e.l.f. and it's a lip plumping gloss. That looks like such a gorgeous colour. This is what it looks like. How lush does that look? And it's lip plumping. It's in the shade Pink Paloma. Nice. So this is something that, I mean, you can either wear it on its own, just with a liner or nothing. Um, just to give your lips a bit of a shine if you're doing like a no makeup makeup look or like a clean makeup look um, or pop it on top of a lipstick um, for a nice plumping effect and yeah a bit of a shine nice okay day number 20 this feels pretty heavy what have we got in here so oh we've got iconic iconic london light and glow duo powder highlight <gasps> lush Honestly, the brands in here this year are fab. I feel like it's better than last year already. So in here then, we've got incredibly reflective packaging, so try not to blind you with the light reflection. And that is the product there. I think I already have this product maybe um, from another beauty box, so I'll probably be passing this one on. But it's such a gorgeous duo. So I've got the highlight and the, it's like a contour, but it's a shimmery contour, so it's something that I could maybe put on on top of my bronzer so if I use a cream bronzer or a cream contour I could then put this on top of it and it's just a bit of shimmer on top of that with also adding a little bit of definition and that highlight is such a gorgeous colour as well. Yeah iconic, nice to see that in the calendar, love a bit of iconic. Now onto the final layer of the calendar so we've got number 21 and we've got a Rituals product. This is just getting better and better. It's the Ritual of Sakura Magic Touch Body Cream. Now I have seen this in a few calendars already, but I'm not mad because this is my favourite, one of my favourite moisturisers, I can't miss out this one. Um, it's 70ml here, so a nice size as well, this smells unreal. Um, if you've not smelled this before, it is lush, you will love it. Yeah, definitely a popular scent making the rounds with the advent calendars at the moment, but luckily it's one of my favourites, so yeah, happy with that one. Okay, day 22, nearly at the end, and we've got a product from Earth Harbour. Uh, it says Marina Biome Brightening Ampule. What is this? Marina Biome Brightening Ampule is named for the treasured ocean blue botanicals she possesses, spirulina and blue tansy. She harbors concentrated adaptogenic oils that vigorously brighten and balance for an even radiant complexion. Apply two or more drops to your skin after cleansing and toning. So it's like a serum then. Interesting. So this is the packaging. Very plain and minimalist. I can see the blue inside. Ooh, oh, that looks so cute. This is the bottle. So yeah, so it's like a serum then. It says dive into glowing skin. So it's a brightening serum. I've never heard of this brand before. Never seen it before. That looks really interesting. It's quite a liquidy serum. Very kind of watery. Um, yeah, I'm excited about that one. That's something different. I've not seen that before. Okay, oh, 23 is heavy. On to the, almost at the end. Oh, this is exciting. And we've got a neon candle. So they, oh, it's a different one. So this is the, oh, this looks so good. Neon Bedtime Hero, and it's chamomile, ylang ylang, and cedarwood. It's one of the miniature candles. This is one of the 75 gram candles. Now usually we get, when we get a neon candle, it's always the same, like lavender, I can't even remember what the other ingredients are, but like the calming, soothing one, like the de-stress one. This is Bedtime Hero. That smells really nice. Oh, I like that. I'm glad that this is a different one as well, because I seem to have only tried that Neom scent, or maybe like one more. Um, but yeah, I've not tried this one before. I've never seen this in other boxes, so yeah, that's fab. I love that. Okay, day 24. We've got a Charlotte Tilbury product. Oh, this is a new thing. So this is the Collagen Superfusion Facial Oil infused with Collagen Matrix, Potent Plant Extract, Vitamin Rich Oils and Calming Essential Oils. This is what it looks like. I've never tried this before. 
It does only look like a very, very small product. Um, I imagine the full size isn't that big though anyway. Oh, that's so cute. This is what it looks like. Can you see that? So again, a very last step in my bedtime skincare routine product. But yeah, different product again. So not the usual serum or the magic cream or something, something different to try, which is what I like. Okay, so those are 24 products. Now we're on to day 25, which it says is a makeup bag with five products in. So this is the box. So excited for this one. Oh, it matches the bag as well. How cute is that? So it's exactly the same print as the tote bag. It says face and body ASOS on both sides. This is really, really nice. Oh, how exciting. Okay, so in here then, we've got five products. So it looks like they're all from Revolution. So we've got the first product then is the Revolution Super Dewy Liquid Highlight Illuminator. That's the packaging. And that looks like a really nice colour actually. That colour. You know what, I've not tried many Revolution skincare products. I've not tried Revolution for like the longest time. But they seem to have kind of like brought out some really good products recently, so I will definitely be giving these a go. Um, then we've got the Revolution Conceal and Define Infinite Mattifying Longwear Makeup Fixing Spray. 16 hour wear. So we've got a finishing fixing spray. So last step on my makeup. Oh, and then we've got a translucent baking powder. That's a bit of a different packaging for powder. Um, I'll definitely make use of this. Okay, so as we take the lid off then, that's what the top looks like. So with products like this, I always tap it into the lid, um, like when I'm using this one at the moment, I just tap it into the lid and then I can put my brush in, but this is quite small. So I might have to tap it onto something else. Um, yeah, unusual packaging. I'll give that a go as well. And then we've got two more products. We've got Extra Hold Brow Glue. That's a huge one as well. So it's like a clear brow gel. That's fully sealed right now, but yeah, I mean, you can see how big it is. And it is clear, so obviously suitable for everyone. Uh, not a particular shade. Keep your brows in place with this Extra Hold Brow Fix. A clear brow gel to lift and set brow hairs. And then finally, we've got an eyeshadow palette. And these colours are lush. So it's the Reloaded Velvet Rose palette. And those are the colours. I really, really like those colours. I know some people might think these are just a bit basic, these kind of shades, kind of neutrals. But these are definitely my kind of colours. They're kind of everyday colours as well. I mean, I know that it's nice to get bright colours and stuff at Christmas, but realistically, most people will probably use these like during the daytime. Um, and probably get quite a lot of use out of these. We've still got like mattes and shimmers. Looks like we've got a bit of like glittery gold one at the top there as well. I don't know if you can actually see it before, but there we go. Those are the shades. Really, really nice colours. So we've got mattes, shimmers, and some kind of sparkly one, like this one at the bottom here. This one here is definitely a sparkly kind of Christmas gold, going out kind of colour. And um, we've got some dark colours. And then at the back of the calendar as well, we've also got this little uh, win a £200 ASOS voucher, so basically leave a review, so you scan that, fill in a survey and you can win a voucher as well. So there we have the ASOS Face and Body 25 Day Advent Calendar Unbox for 2022. I'm really impressed with it, I think it's even better than last year and I remember really liking last year's calendar, I can't remember what was in it exactly, but I remember liking it. But this year, I feel like it's got way, way better, like the brands that are in here are unreal. We started off with a full size MAC lipstick, we've got Elemis, we've got Charlotte Tilbury, we've got Bum Bum Cream. Five products on Christmas day in a makeup bag with the tote as well. Yeah, I think it's just fab. And it's not all the same products that's in boxes and other calendars. So I think it's a great mix and for the price of it as well, it is £85 but with a discount at the moment, £68. This is like the second cheapest one that I've come across so far. So for the products and the brands inside, I think that is 10 out of 10. I know I've said this for quite a few calendars now, but this is definitely a 10 out of 10. Um, yeah, so happy with it. Um, I mean, iconic as well. We've got a new neon candle. It's just lush. Hats off to the girls at ASOS. You've absolutely smashed it this year with this calendar. And I can't wait to dive into all these products. I think there's probably only this one that I'm not really that bothered about. But the rest of them, amazing. What do you guys think of this calendar? Do you think it's better than last year? Um, do you think it's worth the price increase? And will you be picking this one up this year? Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments down below. Um, if you did enjoy this unboxing, please give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe. Um, click the bell to be notified next time I post an advent calendar unboxing. There's still lots more to come. 
Um, but yeah, that is the Advent Candle Unbox. Those are my thoughts on it. And it is still available right now if you do want to shop it. So I will leave it linked down below. I'll also link the grooming calendar down below as well for the guys if you wanted to pick one up for a man in your life. Um, and you can have like matching calendars. But that is everything for today's video. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this unboxing. And I'll see you soon for another video.